Hey, 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 coming to you today for the very first time in hopefully crisp 4K. I got some new camera stuff, some new camera gear. I'm very, very stoked on. Let's get into it. <laughs> So today, I'm not only retiring my camera gear for some better gear and upgrading with a drone, but I'm also going to be retiring this bag here that I've been using to paint on plein air for like the last five years with this bag here. The bag's empty. The new bag is filled and ready to go. It's uh, actually so nice to have everything in one bag instead of having to carry different bags now. Full tour of the bag and what's inside of it will come soon, but I'll put that in another video. For now, let's pack up and hike out to the beach. Here, down at uh, Lobster's Beach. Look how beautiful it looks out here, huh? I'm so stoked, man. It's looking so good. I hope that footage looks so nice right now. Water, anything, they're all fine. It's fucking the wind, man. The wind will get you. The wind, see this pack? Gone. Gone. All gone. Everything, it'll take you. It'll take you out, man. <laughs> the wind sucks. somewhere else. Third time, the charm. You know, I've already wasted so much time going to different beaches and stuff and it's like one o'clock now. I wanted to be done by two. I got to that beach at like 11. Uh, so I just didn't realize how high the winds were gonna be, man. It was ridiculous. So switch to a smaller panel, dish in the bigger panel. I'm gonna work that smaller one. up color. Anyways, I'm gonna start mixing up. See how it goes with that. Like always, starting with the sky first. Yeah, picking up some of that darker blue I've mixed up. Sit right at the top there. Working on a uh, non-stained canvas at the moment, not by intention, just by the fact that I didn't end up staining it when I made them made them all up and I just put them up in my car. I'll probably stain up a few. Uh, it's not too big of a deal if I don't stain them. Uh, I can work with it, <laughs> but it does help. It does help immensely to uh, have that stain already fresh on the uh, on the panel there. Alright, now that that's 
guys in. I'm going to start mixing up some of that darker, uh, shadowy shapes on the mountain there and um, sort of try and mix those and then sort of mix the greens and feel in and then, and then work my way down to the border there and, and then um, bounce around and try and fix it all up once the camp is covered. All the mountain colours mixed up. Got some shadows for the rocks, shadows for the greens, some lighter greens, more brighter greens. I might mix up an earthy green, some sort of rock based stuff there, some pops of colour there. Gonna try and work with those and then mix in, in, into each other and uh, see how we go with the top. So much that like I just cannot I cannot be bothered to fight it anymore. It's just too much right now. So it's pushing my gear over, it's pushing my camera over. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there for now, probably come back tomorrow or finish in the studio. I'm feeling more I come back tomorrow if the, if the weather's good, but uh <laughs> god damn this this uh this wind man it's ridiculous. It's, it's like coming in gusts and it's getting crazy. I'm gonna pack it down. Pack it down, let's head out. I've had enough. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Finish it off.
got all the colors mixed up, ready to go. Got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors mixed up. Some rock colors here, some darker, lighter greens here. And I'm uh, going to start working in this sort of area and then going to move down. The water is a lot different to what it was yesterday. Uh, yesterday it was so much more smoother, flatter, and the tide was higher. Um, but I'm not going to let that affect me. I still like that white sand and the rocks coming through. I'll just, I'll just paint what I see here, and if I don't like it, I can just repaint it. A lot less people here today. Um, nice. They able to fly the drone a lot more. <laughs> So, I'm just going to pick up the uh, short flat, this one here, you can see there, I don't know if that focuses or not, but um, it's a short flat, a little small one, it's probably what I'm going to use for the main majority of the rest of this hillside here, so yeah, get to it. along in the process not too much left to do except for a lot of highlights and stuff so I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked with how it's all started to look I'll show you how it's going right now I'm gonna put a couple of little people up and through here uh, I've worked my sort of lights through here because it's a little bit different to what it was yesterday I'm just sort of going off the shadows that I had yesterday um, you can see I'm laying down the base colors through here base colors being this green all those like waves and water and all that sort of good stuff so yeah I'm gonna get back to it let's get back to it I'm gonna get for this is still being delivered so uh, bear with me for these next couple episodes 
that I don't have a microphone, um, but let's check out the finished products here. All right, so this is it. Coming from the top down here, going down through here, got a couple of people spurst out through there, along the rocks over here. A couple of people here, this sort of wet sand through here, up into the waves back here and here. You know, it's pretty raw, it's very loose, um, but I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'll, I'll probably touch up a fair bit of it when I get back into the studio. So I'm just gonna clean it a little bit maybe, and then uh, back in the studio I might refine it a bit more. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the painting process. I'm pretty stoked with the way the painting came out. Like I said, you know, very raw, very, uh, very quick. <laughs> but overall, I'm pretty happy with the whole thing. Um, so, I guess the main thing out of this video is the new setup, really. Uh, being this camera here, um, being the drone in the backpack here. I'm really stoked with it all. But leave a comment down in the comments below and let me know what you thought about the new setup. You know, maybe you liked it more, maybe you didn't like it. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, I feel really just like invigorated again. You know what I mean? To just make more cinematic stuff and, you know, think about different shots. You know, just, just having this camera, having the drone, just I just feel like when I first started YouTube, just going out, making, taking the best B-roll and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> you know, so I kind of feel like I'm back there again. There's also another new thing that you can go follow over on my website. It's actually a newsletter. So it's not just like a regular newsletter. <laughs> it's actually a newsletter that I believe that will actually benefit you. So. Uh, you'll have 24 hours early access to my YouTube videos here as well as reference photos from whatever it is I'm painting in that video. So whether that be on plein air, you get a shot of what it, the vista or whatever it is I'm painting um, or if I'm painting a person, a portrait or something like that, you'll get a, get a shot of the uh, person as well. Uh, so things like that. Um, so sign up to the newsletter, get informed and uh, cop those reference photos as they come out. Other than that, I think that's everything. Uh, hit like, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought about the video. And I'll, uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Catch you guys.